Hi, we're back. Booted up, ALCI, and let's hope, let's hope that we have the calamaris now. So, sudo build me with some verbose, and then go. There he is, Arco Cal ALC calamaris thing. It's number, uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. ALCI, Calamaris is here, ah, back up. ALCI, here he is, nine, nine. That was our issue in the previous video. So it's there, it's gonna be installed. Is there anything else we can do? Again, guys, I'm not gonna build this ISO. I'm not gonna provide the ISO, build the ISO. It's done. Atlix B is actually created for you to build it. We provide the ISIS for you, but here it ends. This thing, you build it yourself. You maintain it yourself. This is just a what if I had in my head. And I can't keep maintaining all the what ifs in my head. I can't. So it's simple. You see me do it. Pseudo build. And you've got it. And yes. Our ISO will change. Yes, you will have to figure it out and change with it. But basically, it's an Arch ISO with the Calamaris. We took i3, we could have taken anything else, 21 desktops. We get rid of the desktops again, and you're an Arch Linux. Then you install Xorg, we've learned it in the previous video. Then we install LightDM or SDM. And then we install anything, 21 desktops. There are more, we will make one more coming March. That's a nice one. All right, so let's uh, pause the video here. It's always so quickly finished. I just walk away, come back, it's done already. All right, let's have a look. Arch Linux. Boot up. Being cool, guys, that's what it's all about. I want you to give you the knowledge to be in control. Here's Arch Linux. We have a Calamaris installer. Boom. We install everything. We change a few things. And boom. We have an operating system free. Easy. So like I said, you can add more to your installation. But the goal was to be in, as close to Arch Linux as possible. But uh, the point is we're not going to give the ISO. We give the scripts, the knowledge, be independent from me, be independent from anyone, and have an operating system. That's just awesome. Get your kits, your, your dot files in, anything you like, any desktop you like, put them in there. Looks nice, right? PNG. Yeah. I have 1920 and 1080. It's a good uh, resolution. And then we'll check. Last check. And then it's dinner time. We've been at it around five hours or so. You see, if you think it's gonna take two, multiply it by two and a little bit more. <laughs> but it's fun. And now all you have to do is maintain it. But that's up to you guys. Just provide a code and it freezes. And then you you do your thing with it. I'm gonna burn it later on because the error status command process thing is really, is it's a virtual box thing where you have that also. Uh, so I'm gonna try it on one of my machines, one of my SSDs, the solid state disk. Yeah, one type when everything breaks in Calamaris, that's um, not only in Calamaris, in Xmona, in, in, in Qtile, in so many others, it has to be great. So, <laughs> Xorg server, right? 
and uh, there was the other one xorg apps or something like that ah oh, the bash completion is not there maybe you want to put that on your iso i guess right but huh? okay not our goal night night now eh? ah passwords no yes So we have an X org server. X init, X term. Don't need it, don't type it. Simple. Pseudo pacman minus S lightm. Now lightm can start, of course. Oh my god, really, Eric. If you did not see previous video, then I just forgot to install X org. And LightM failed. How is that possible? Basically, it was Eric who failed, not LightM. Uh, oh, okay, enable. Oh, I have to type everything. Enable LightDM. Sudo reboot. <coughs> no alias anymore. As are no aliases. But I do have an Arch Linux system that I've created by myself, and I have an XFCE, and I can log in to that particular system. And yes, of course, I made a typo. Yeah, again, fail to start session. That's not a good message. XFCE All right So we don't have a light DM in um, an XFCE in here, which is not normal. So I'm pressing right control F3 and I'm pressing enter, 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 enter. Okay, there he is. I'm logging in. Maybe. Yeah. Remember, I set x or x anything. Oh, passwords. And now we do a pseudo reboot. X term, no. Is that the reason? No, it's not. All right. We're not in the clear yet. I thought we were there. We did this. Yeah. All right, so let's um, type in my password again. So that's done. We have installed all these things. No errors there. We've installed. No, oh, I can't go any up. So, what did I forget? <laughs> I always forget something. XFCE. God damn it, Eric. XFCE for goodies. There is nothing behind it. Right? How can Lightium? lock you into something if you don't have anything i guess five hours is too much to concentrate on my age as simple as that i am getting older we call it tram tram six tram tram is tram is and oh there we go again the servers um so it's a subway 
which is means I'm going to 60 years old. Let's stop him here. Control C if we can. And then nano ATC. We don't have mirror list or anything. We have have something. I believe they have something. Pac-Man mirrors or something. Pac-Man key. I don't know what it is again. They have some kind of command. I don't know what it is. So I'm going for the manual approach. Pac-Man D. And then we go to the mirror list. Uh, I did forget sudo, of course. Yeah, sure. Always forget sudo. Why would I not forget sudo this time? Osbeck is in the beginning. My friend, why I have an issues? Sudo Pacman, find it. Let's get the database in from him. Can't be an issue. Not Osbeck. Not Osbeck. Come on. There you go. I can tell you, no spec. Spec just works. And then sudo reboot. I just did not have the proper database yet. Showtime. This will be the end of the videos. I did not forget to install something now. Oh, password. I think they are going to call me for dinner. You hear that? Awesome. I feel happy. And yes, they want me to come and eat my dinner. I just finished in the nick of time. No audio, no Bluetooth, no, no, nothing. Uh, no printers, no sound, but there's nothing. But it's an Arch Linux system and it is your system. It's your clean system. This is an Arch Linux delivery system to get Arch Linux without any intervention, really, any other packages from anywhere else. I will keep having a look, but that's for later, at uh, some details maybe. But I do believe the last thing we did was delete the SDM and we did not see the error. Remember that we said uh, let's enable LightDM and we did not need to force it. So that means that the SDM was gone. So that's cool. We did not go inside etc LightDM, LightDM.com to change anything. So that's cool too. So we're good to go. The only thing I'm gonna take a look at and then I'm gonna go for my dinner. That is, I'm gonna take a look at this particular file. If we can change here something or not, I don't know. We'll see. It is good the way it is. Yeah, wouldn't change the thing. No, yes, SDM, yeah, cool. Then this is our group, that's also good. Live user group. No, guys, no. This is good. Wouldn't change anything. So this is the project. This is ALCI Arch Linux Calamaris installer. It will not be maintained. Will no be. Will be no ISOs. It's entirely an idea, a what if, that you can reuse and think. Okay, this makes sense. I got Arch Linux. I've got Calamaris. Quick, quick, quick. Everything installed. And then you do, your, you do your thing, you get your GitHubs in, your, your scripts in, and, and install everything. And there they are again, impatient, asking me to dinner. Okay, guys, cheers, bye.